There are metal cordons uh, across the streets, police barriers, but as I said, several hundred people, uh, lots of Parisians, but also some tourists too, people from other regions of France have come down to the streets today to see the funeral procession of Jacques Chirac pass by and enter into the church of Saint-Sulpice for a final service before his private burial later on. Now, I've been looking around the crowds trying to find well-wishers here who speak English, but unfortunately it's quite a Parisian crowd, I have to say. Lots of people, I've been speaking to them um, from all ages, all generations, all walks of life. Um, one young couple I was talking to earlier were students just a few blocks from here, and they were telling me they came here because they grew up with Jacques Chirac. He, they were born under his presidency, and when they first became interested in politics at a very early age, they, they talked about his politics, and they came down here because they wanted to pay a tribute. They'd already been to sign the Books of Remembrance at the Elysee Presidential Palace in previous days, so really people very touched by the former president and coming down here to say one last goodbye. Now, Catherine, uh, Jacques Chirac wasn't necessarily the most popular president during his time in office, but he definitely does seem to have uh, reached something of a national treasure status uh, in his later years and certainly after his death. How do you account for that? Well, from what a lot of people have been telling me, he was just a very human politician. We've become used, haven't we, to, to formulated sound bites, to pre-prepared speeches, a lot of spin. And Jacques Chirac was kind of the opposite of that to many people. He went out and spoke to them. He wasn't politically correct. He enjoyed having a laugh with them, having a drink with them, something to eat. And in fact, he, very, he nurtured this image of himself as an affable rogue, a lovable rogue. Uh, and that really hit home with people, someone they, they felt they could relate to and that he could relate to them. So, as you say, despite not being pres uh, popular at the end of his mandate and despite, of course, having been convicted of corruption back in 2011, he does remain popular with an awful lot of French people. In fact, one survey showed that he's uh, among the most popular presidents, up there with Charles de Gaulle now. So really sky-high popularity ratings uh, since news of his death has broken.